Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. SQL tutorial, structured query language. Today, we will be learning about chapter 2, SQL tutorial constraints. Generally, constraints mean condition or rules. Technically, when it comes to SQL constraint, that can be defined as business rule which is enforced on data being stored in a table. To better understand, let's take a look at the slide. It has a complete architecture of a software application where we have a browser dependent application in an HTML form where you enter the values, you enter the username and password and it goes to the business logic and then it goes to the database server where that data you entered in the front end goes to the back end and process it. So when it comes to the constraints, you have noticed when we enter the values in the form, they mention that these values are mandatory. And in the database, you have these data stored in a tabular form. Sometimes you forgot to put the values in the password and you enter the login. And it pop up with the error that you forgot to enter the password. Internally, when it goes these values to the database, database inside internally it has a constraint a condition that password cannot be null the password cannot be empty so that's how the constraints work in a business perspective well let's go to the classification of data constraints in sql there are two types of constraints you can provide one is input output constraints and another is business rule constraints input output constraints are of further three types of classification classified one is primary unique and foreign we make a constraints in the form of a key that's being called a primary key unique key and a foreign key on the other side when it comes to the business rule constraints these are based on the requirement of the database or requirement of the application sometimes it's been asked to have a table level sometimes it's asked to have an in a column level and we put the checks on it sometimes it said not null and null so this is completely uh, depend on type of requirement you have in your application when it comes to the input output constraints this is really uh, complicated to understand this you have to first go through it in detail when it comes to the primary key this is the syntax when you defined in a table and this is the foreign key syntax and unique key syntax this we will learn when we actually perform the execution before that, let's li talk a little bit about the primary key. Primary key has some rules. These are the conditions when you applied in the table to maintain the data. You need to have a certain rules to follow. Number one, record cannot be duplicate. It has to be in a unique form. Record uniqueness has to be maintained help to identify one record from another so it helps you to relate the tables suppose you have a table which has username and a password another table you have username and the date of birth of the user so these two different tables are related with one common column that's called user id so you can relate these two tables and come up with one output or one record it is not mandatory but definitely it is recommended to maintain the duplication of the data only one primary key is allowed per table that's really interesting you have to make sure the primary key cannot be more than one in a table because primary key itself has certain conditions 
that has to be followed so it cannot be more than one it cannot be performed on the type of the column which is defined as long or long row data type raw data type unique index is created automatically if there is a primary key and it cannot support not it cannot support the null values so it has to be certain values this is all about the rules of the primary key when it comes to the foreign key they are more complicated because foreign key basically is a reference key as i told you earlier a small example of the table where there is one username and password and another table has a username and date of birth so these two tables has a common column username and this username basically can be a one column and maintained by a single key that's called the foreign key so that helps to relate these two tables records can be in, cannot be inserted and updated into the tail table if corresponding records in the master table do not exist to understand it better in the foreign key that represent relationship between two tables or in the same table you can have that's called the self reference key a foreign key is a column whose values are derived from primary and unique from other table when it comes to the table in which foreign key is defined is called the foreign or the detail table and the table that define primary and unique or referenced by foreign key is called the master table so these master table and the detail table combinedly helps to implement the foreign key and reduce so many duplication of the database there are some rules according to the rules it rejects the delete from master table if corresponding records in the detail table exist and uh, you have to make sure when you create an order table with a reference same table that has to be only for create an order table must reference a primary key or unique columns in primary table and when it comes to the on delete cascade option there is an on delete cascade option if you see in the syntax on delete cascade option this is by default set and if it is set then delete operation will trigger in all the detail detail tables so for example if you remove an account if you delete an account you ask for the user id and that user id has related with other two tables like for the date of birth table and for some kind of salary table that will be deleted all in one time so this is the default set in case of foreign key to understand it better we can have it a small look an example here table x table y table z table x is an example for the unique key as you can see this table x has column a row 1 is the one value row 1 cannot possible because it is duplicating so this is how we can understand about the unique key when it comes to the primary key this is a table table y which has column a column b and it has row 1 row 2 and it cannot support the null values so we have to have some value so this is why it is red red means it will show you some error and duplicate of course it cannot support duplication so this is again the error in the primary key when it comes to the foreign key now you can see the table x and table z has the same column a column a and now these two tables are related i have created a foreign key in column a and column x a uh, table a table x with the column a and these two are related now if i'll delete if i raise a delete statement for table z it will definitely delete the from the table x now that's how it works now we have null at the check type of constraints which basically work with the 
at the table level or at the column level according to our requirement at the time of the application execution. So this is what the rules for the check constraints. Business rule validation can be applied to the table column by check constraints. These type of constraints must be avoided if the constraint can be defined using not null, primary key or foreign key constraint because that create more complicated. Check condition cannot include sysdate, user ID and user environment SQL function that is uh, not included in this kind of condition. So when it comes to the check constraint, basically you are providing some kind of uh, condition in uh, the time of the creating the table that this table only has, uh, for example, an application that says if you're creating an account, you should be more than 18 years old. Otherwise, that table will not let the uh, user enter the value because that is that condition is not uh, approved by the user, by the table structure or by the table definition. So, in order to understand it better, when you try to sign up in a bank account, they will ask you that your what is your age your age is uh, has to be more than 18 years if it is less than 18 years they will not let you sign up in the uh, account so this is the this type of condition you can add while creating a table or inserting the table because while inserting the table it will not let you insert the value because the condition is not applied here so that's the best example to understand about the check constraints now we have null constraints null constraints basically uh, will work with the unique index which is created automatically and null is different from the empty value that's uh, very confusing to understand but it is very important to uh, understand this thing that null is basically you are mentioning to oracle engine that this value has some value some random value but not null but when you enter nothing that means it says it is null value unique index is created automatically it will not allow duplicate values this is the same definition like we learn in the unique key and the primary key this type of table can have more than one unique key which is not possible in primary key so null constraints can be possible in the unique key unique key can be combined up to 16 columns and which is called combinedly called a composite unique key and of course the same uh, rules applied for this too that cannot be long or long row data type so this is all about the rules and the constraint examples to key. So for that, first you have to create a table well, X with the column A. I can write it down column A, where cat type, and this is, and I, all I have to just mention unique key according to the syntax if you see here unique key data type size and unique so this is my definite this is my um, create statement for unique i am making this type of table create table table x column and unique table created now i'm gonna insert into table x with values a b c d and if i will try to insert this again here it is showing me unique constraint violated that means it cannot accept the repetition it cannot accept the duplication of the data so it if you see the table 
this has a value column a a b c d which i have entered but it cannot insert again the same value and if i put the in not null value this will also work here you see but if i execute this one again this is again inserting the empty because it means that it has some value there is a difference that's what the difference between the null value and the empty empty values unique key support the null values multiple null values now let's talk about the primary table primary table y let's create the primary so i have a table create table statement i will get the y and column a and instead of unique this time i'm going to create primary so if you see the primary syntax it says column name data type reference uh, primary key that's it so column a where that type i'll have one more column two sorry b where cat and primary key okay just primary missing keyword okay yeah primary key table created now if i want to try to insert this is the value i inserted i'm going to insert it again and again the same issue a unique constraint violated and if i want to, if i'll uh, enter the null value cannot insert the null value so primary key does not support null value foreign key we are going to have a uh, table x we are going to create a table table z and we have column a and column c now here instead of this kind of definition we have to create a reference first we have to create a const constraint so table created now if i'll see the description of my table z you can see this is not null value is removed from here because it is referred how we can implement the foreign key then we have null values and check in short if we compare you can see the unique key permits multiple null values that's not allowed to duplicate and keys can be more than one when it comes to the primary key not null it's not allowed to duplicate cannot be more than one and when it comes to the foreign key it has to be unique key it has to be primary key it has to be on delete cascade by default set and self reference and has to be references from the other table quick notes for understand it's a lot to understand in the constraints business rules which are enforced on data being stored in a table called constraint that oracle permits applying data constraint at the table level or at the column level oracle permits data constraint to be attached at the table column by a sql syntax that checks data for integrity prior storage and create table and alter table can be used to write sql that attach to constraints so this is all about the constraints in detail thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this learning experience please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos let's make 
coding fun.